We share the planet with an impressive diversity of life that can be found in many environments. Today, humans are dramatically transforming these environments through urbanization. This results in unique urban environments with greater pollution, altered temperatures, and extensive roads. Concrete jungles are a challenging place to live for most species. Which brings us to a key question. Can organisms adapt to life in the city? The process of evolution by natural selection could enable organisms to adapt to cities. Natural selection is based on three principles. First, individuals have variation in traits, like the color of a snail's shell. Second, traits that increase survival or reproduction in the face of environmental challenges are selected, like shell colors that provide better camouflage against predators on the dark surfaces of roads. Third, selected traits are inherited by new generations through DNA, causing adaptive evolutionary change that can be observed in a person's lifetime. But how can evolution occur so quickly? While evolution has occurred since the origin of life 3.7 billion years ago, evidence of rapid evolution is accumulating, including in response to selection pressures associated with urbanization. However, prior evidence of urban evolution has been limited to single cities or small regions. To better understand the global effects of urbanization, it is important to discover if adaptation to cities is occurring repeatedly around the world. Meet Trifolium repens, or white clover, a plant species that is extremely widespread and grows in both non-urban and urban areas making it an ideal model organism to study adaptation to cities on a global scale. While they may all look the same, there is variation from plant to plant in that only some white clovers can deter herbivores using a poisonous chemical called hydrogen cyanide. The ability to produce hydrogen cyanide is coded in the plant's DNA by two genes with a simple and easy to study pattern of inheritance. Scientists from the University of Toronto, Mississauga, led a global collaborative study with researchers from around the world. In total, they sampled white clover populations in 160 different cities. In almost half of these cities, clover populations evolved differently along urban and rural gradients, such that populations in rural areas typically evolved to produce more hydrogen cyanide and populations in urban areas evolved to produce less hydrogen cyanide. In an effort to explain this phenomenon, scientists analyzed the features of the environment and the plant's DNA to reveal a new story of urban evolution. Let's see what they discovered. When land becomes developed and urbanized, the abundance of herbivores tends to drop, making hydrogen cyanide less advantageous for survival and reproduction. After all, producing this poisonous chemical compound costs a lot of energy. Energy that could instead be used for producing flowers and seeds. With each passing generation, clovers that produce hydrogen cyanide become more rare, while clovers without this ability increase. And because the effects of cities get increasingly strong towards the urban center, this helped lead to the difference in clover evolution along urban and rural gradients occurring repeatedly around the world. Urbanization is continuing to transform the environment, bringing with it many challenges for life on Earth. As a result, some organisms are undergoing rapid evolutionary change through natural selection. By studying the white clover, we now know this is not just an isolated event. Rather, organisms can adapt to cities repeatedly on a global scale. Research in the field of urban evolution can help us better understand our impact on the ecosystem, develop better conservation strategies, and build more sustainable cities. Ultimately, understanding adaptation of organisms to urban environments might even help make our planet more sustainable.